The India Meteorological Department, IMD, has issued an orange warning for heavy to very heavy rainfall at one or two places in thus districts of Odisha during next the next four days due to the prevalent monsoon trough and a low-pressure area formed in the Bay of Bengal. The Kiyakta police in Odisha's Angul district have taken four persons, including a woman priest, into custody on Saturday on allegations of human sacrifice of a Chodha-year-old boy. While the deceased has been identified as deceased Sanchit Biswal, the accused include a woman priest Ritanjali Bag of Tusra village, her associate, and her two sons. Baba Dayanidhi, an inmate of Guru Kripa Ashram in Odisha's Puri district who sustained severe injuries during a brawl at the ashram on Friday, succumbed to his injuries on Saturday night while undergoing treatment at Katak's ACB Medical College and Hospital. Baligura block in Odisha's Kandhmal district received the highest rainfall of 135 mm in the last 24 hours in the state while the average rainfall recorded in Odisha during the period was 14.8 mm, the India Meteorology Department, IMD, here said on Sunday. Strange incidents are being reported after the price of tomatoes skyrocketed across the country. In a bizarre incident, a man fled after buying 2 kilograms tomato from a vendor in Katak's Chhatra Bazaar after mortgaging to minor boys on Saturday. The Forest Department on Saturday sacked two temporary workers for throwing fire torches at an elephant herd that invaded several villages in the Karanjia Forest in Odisha's Mayurbhanj district on 27th July. On a day filled with noteworthy highlights, synopsis, one of the global leaders in electronics design and automation, EDA, with a presence in over 25 countries, announced its plans to set up a Bhuvaneshwar-based design-centered facility. The Tourism Department of Odisha in association with Fixie Today organized an event for the Orhir diaspora in the Bay Area of California. The event was a big hit with the participation of more than 900 people of Odisha origin, said an official press release. The event showcased the transformation taking place in Odisha and how the diaspora can contribute even more to the cause. Former Chief Minister and Madhya Pradesh Congress President Kamal Nath has presented the development works done in his home district as Chindwara model before the tribal communities in the state to woo them ahead of the assembly polls. The Ikkis member parliamentary delegation of the opposition's Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance, India, on Sunday termed the Manipur ethnic violence as national security issue, saying the silence of the Prime Minister shows his brazen indifference towards the violence in Manipur. Congress on Sunday accused the BJP-led government at the centre of looting people instead of giving them relief from the inflation. People of the country are facing economic crisis due to inflation and unemployment, but the BJP government is engaged in looting their hard-earned money. A newly married woman disappeared from a train in Bihar's Kishnaganj district, an official said on Sunday. Kajal Kumari, along with her husband, was on her way to Darjeeling for a honeymoon trip in the New Delhi New Jalpaiguri superfast train on 28 July. The couple boarded the train from Muzaffarpur in Bihar. A case of fetus in fetus, FIF, a rare congenital anomaly, was reported at SN Children's Hospital where a seven-month-old boy was found carrying a fetus of an equal age inside his stomach. However, doctors performed a complex surgery to remove the fetus which had developed a head, hair, both arms and legs. The new Assam Legislative Assembly building was officially inaugurated on Sunday by Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla in the presence of others, including Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma, Assam Assembly Speaker Biswajit Demari, and Union Ministers Sarbananda Sonowal and Rameshwar Teli. Congress on Sunday slammed Prime Minister Narendra Modi over his monthly broadcast program of Monkey Bath saying he is forcing down his voice on crores of Indians and but the anger of the people of Manipur seems to make no difference to him. With the Assembly elections due in four states in a few months from now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in an attempt to reach out to the Muslim population, informed on Sunday, how 4,000 women from the community recently undertook the Hajj pilgrimage without their male companions or mahram. Tamil Nadu has reported five new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. Of these, three are in the state capital, Chennai.
One case is reported in Coimbatore and the other in Thani in South Tamil Nadu. With these new five cases, the number of COVID-19 active cases has reached nine in the state. Over 600 engineering and technical institutions across the country will soon start offering world-class courses on semiconductor technology. All India Council for Technical Education (AICTE) Chairman T G Sitaram has said. While most of us keep toiling till our golden years, seeking a perfect retirement, an 11-year-old millionaire is throwing her 12th birthday party with a retirement plan. Pixie Cardis, the young Australian-born entrepreneur, is the CEO of her toy company called Pixie's Fidgets. She founded the company with her mother Roxy Jasenko in 2021 and earned major profits. Tamil Nadu has reported five new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. Of these, three are in the state capital, Chennai. One case is reported in Coimbatore and the other in Thani in South Tamil Nadu. With these new five cases, the number of COVID-19 active cases has reached nine in the state. Setting the bar high for couple goals, Deepika Padukone chose to wear a denim jacket with her husband and actor Ranveer Singh's face painted on it while they went to watch Rocky or Rani ki Prem Kahani. Known for her roles in movies like Kagas, Heropanti, and a cameo in the Bang 2, actress Sandeep Adhar, who has now teamed up with Abhishek Bajaj for the track Barbad, said the song explores the transformative power of finding true love in unexpected places. Alliances and friendships will be put through the paces as tensions reach an all-time high in the upcoming episode of Rodi's Karm Ya Kaand. Ex Piyu Sharma and Priyanka Chaudhary collide, intensifying the drama and adding a new layer of complexity to the already heated battles. It looks like they are not going to let go of their past. That is not all. Verbal clashes will be seen between Gary Lu and Himanshu Arora, aggravating the gang war. Indian pop jazz playback singer and Padma Shri recipient Usha Uthup is going to be the part of an upcoming fiction show Baate Kuch Ankahi Si a musical love saga starring Mohit Malik and Saili Salunkhe in the lead roles Sources told INS Usha Uthup will be a part of Baate Kuch Ankahi Si In the weekend ka var episode of Big Boss OTT do Pooja Bhatt who is a contestant and show's host Salman Khan were seen talking about the rough time in their careers In a heartwarming and candid moment during the weekend ka var episode Pooja Bhatt revealed the lowest phase of her life during a heartfelt conversation on Big Boss OTT do Courts in India make a criminal swear by the Bhagavad Gita before he deposes in a case or at least that is what I have seen in films The Gita if one understands rightly is the ultimate belief one can swear on to tell the truth A criminal may still lie but our judiciary and our films continue to repose faith in this holy book Uttar Pradesh and Kolkata Knight Riders KKR batter Rinku Singh has revealed that everyone at his home was elated and danced when they heard the news of him getting selected in the Indian squad for the Asian Games Debutants Morocco on Sunday stunned South Korea 1 to 0 to claim their first ever victory at the FIFA Women's World Cup here A diving header from striker Ibtissam Jaidi in the 6th minute broke the deadlock for Morocco which is the team's first ever goal at the World Cup. After joining Jamshedpur AFC on a one year contract, Brazilian player Elson Jose Dias Jr, commonly known as Elson Ho, said that joining Indian Super League ISL outfit is a great next step in his career and he sees it as a great opportunity. Ishan Kishan 55 struck his second successive half century but india failed to capitalize on a good start on a difficult pitch that offered variable bounce to be all out for 181 in 40.5 overs in the second odi against west indies here on saturday